And now in this video, we're going to take a look and see how we can accomplish a third harmonic on a, on a string. Again, nothing has changed from before. We still have a string that's one meter long, same mass per unit length, same tension, so we get the same velocity of 100 meters per second. The question now is, where should we plug the string? Where should we pull down on the string so we get a wave pattern that looks like this? where the length is equal to one and a half wavelengths. Notice that's a full wavelength, that's a half, so the length of the string is now one and a half wavelengths. And what's the associated frequency? Remember that F sub naught that we found in a few videos ago was equal to 50 hertz, which was known as the fundamental frequency or the first harmonic. So that's also known as the uh, first harmonic. And we know that that was 50 hertz with the very same string, harmonic. There we go. Um, so, what will this pattern result in? What kind of frequency will we get? All right, so first of all, notice that we have two notes at the end, two notes in the middle for a total of four nodes, and three antinodes, one, two, three. So what you need to do is you need to plug the string at the location of where you want that antinode to be. So this is one half of one third the length, so therefore you want to go to one sixth the length of the string, pull on the string and let it oscillate. And that's what we typically do with guitar strings or violin strings. We stroke or we strum or we pluck the string at a particular location to set a particular waveform like that, whatever it is that you're trying to, trying to obtain. So if you pluck it one sixth the length of the string, you'll end up with a pattern like this. So what is the frequency? Well, again, velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength, which means that the frequency is equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength. And of course, the velocity stays the same at 100 meters per second. It's the wavelength that keeps changing. Now notice the length is 1 half lambda, which means from this we can then conclude that lambda is equal to L divided by 1.5, which is 1 meter divided by 1.5, which is equal to 0 0.67 meters, and that goes in here, 0 0.67 meters. Meters cancels out, and the frequency of the third harmonic, 100 divided by 0.67 is, wow, good thing I checked. That's equal to 150 hertz. And now that I think about it, yeah, that should be the answer because this is three times the fundamental frequency. So notice that with the second, um, with the second harmonic, the frequency was 100 hertz, which is twice the fundamental frequency. And with the third harmonic, uh, that, was, that is now, as we see, three times the fundamental frequency. So for each harmonic, it's simply a multiple of the fundamental frequency. And that's how we find out what this is. So now that we have the pattern, if I asked you what is the frequency of the fifth harmonic, if we have five of these, five of these lobes or five of these half waves oscillating up and down, it would be five times the fundamental frequency or five times 50 or 250 hertz. So from now on, you can see the pattern and it's fairly straightforward as to finding the various frequencies of the various harmonics on a standing wave on a string. And that's how we do that.